there probably isn't another player in any esport that is comparable to Faker. It's hard not to be a Faker fan if you've been around since the start. Everyone has followed his career. Just the name itself echoes throughout not just League of Legends, but esports. Faker has this edge, this aura, this kind of mentality that has kept him on top all this long. Faker is so good, and he was at such a level above everyone else, that Riot literally had to change the game to nerf Faker. Sure, he's been killed a few times. He's had his downfalls. But he's on Killable Demon King for a reason. At the end of the day, he's going to return. He will put in the hours. He will do everything in his power to defeat you. He's grown through so many different years and so many different methods and so many different players and teams surrounded by him. And he still won multiple world championships. League of Legends is very lucky to have an icon like him within the scene. We are lucky to have one faker in any esport this decade. How well is Captain Jack doing this lane? Because he's been typically uh, a relatively weak lane. Whoa, whoa, Ambition! What, Faker? They're gonna come down this bottom lane. Captain Jack, the first target, and Lust Boy is not going to escape either, I don't think. He's gonna flash. Maybe we'll get away. No, there's a spear. A double kill for Faker. Andrews with a great, but Faker claims another one. Smart move there, but they may decide to just dunk him under dirt. They are, they're going in on impact. Faker coming in, doing a ton of damage to Chunju, and Chunju's not gonna get out of there. Oh, wow. They're not done yet. Impact has to dash away. Faker with the chase. He's gonna go in and assassinate Elise. These are some of the most impressive LeBlanc plays I have ever seen Elecon's composition brings, and Faker oh, going hard it. early. He's a little Look off. At that, man. He's going ham. There's the Ignite Tane. Flashes Faker with the flash as well. First blood goes to Faker. Like, even though I only have a mat on the floor, I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here, Death Mark. Tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? Faker with a huge what? play, the QSS. I can't believe the I just saw he that. He actually won that duel. I can't As believe SK that happened. Telecom. Keep that farm going on. Reginald putting some pressure down, but Faker actually turning him down a lot of damage. Reginald goes aggressive, pushes the ultimate. Oh. Gotta get caught out, Faker gets him down. This match features one of the best AD carries in the world, Prey, and the best mid laner, if not the best player in the world, Faker. Oh, blown up! Well, his passive is there to save him. Will he be able to escape? There is Stan United coming in. Stranglethorn's gonna knock Najin Sword into the air. Prey is gonna fall here. Faker from the side. Crescendo comes around. SKT doing great in this one. Now Kane gonna be the target. Exhaust goes down, but it won't make a difference. Especially he's gonna try and chase down Faker here. But with impact to get that taunt down, will he have oh, the finisher? No. Faker is still alive. Charm's gonna land on him. Oh, is he what? gonna be able to walk away? Faker is still running. Oh. Looking for the hook, not gonna connect. Faker still alive, but now not in trouble. He's got the shockwave still alive, and there is the shockwave coming down, but Faker so very low. Expression dies, Faker still alive. Oh! Protect comes in, Kane trying to get the kill. This is where it gets interesting. Faker is absolutely level six, and Bengi's gonna try to combo with the gang. He goes in, does he manage to knock him up? Yes, he does. Surely the shockwave comes in, but it does not matter. First blood, Faker. White took both hands oh my and God. put them into his face oh. after that play. Nobody's touching Piglet, they're all running away. Faker makes the fight continue. This could be a 20 minute game for SK Telecom. They will be the season three world champions here at the Staples Center. Faker's looking to maybe try and make a play. He's gone in. He's gone for Cyanide. He wants to try and pop him the down. Low! Maybe enough. He gets Cyanide down before the Baron drops. The Baron is so, so low. It's going to get stolen oh. away by Faker. This is tragic for Fnatic. Pepe's going to get dropped there. Strange pushes right down the mid lane where they just overwhelm with numbers. But that it doesn't gonna work when Faker's there. <laughs> no. He's going to go over to Rage though. So yeah. oh, Faker follows him straight through. Double kill. Easy as that. Any more for that item too? Show up as Imp finds Faker. Faker just gonna blink for it, and he actually turns around and bursts Imp down as Dandy shows up for a revenge kill. Faker trying to jump away, but here comes Looper. I don't think Faker has a way out of this. He's trying to use his clone to block shots off, and he gets it. Looper has to flash forward, but Faker flashes. Oh, 
Duke getting a bit low, and with that slow, maybe he'll get away. Wolf coming in. Baker. Can he make something happen? Oh, really nice use. Quadra. Oh, the spell he said. Yeah, it's a quadra kill for Faker. I got to say, that was one of the better uh, Frost Queen flame uses by uh, Wolf there, too. Just yet another great play by him. Oh, he, oh, he got, it. got it! How in the world did he get that pentakill? The last outer tier turret goes down, and they now have their eyes only set on the base. He has him off the wall. He can't get through the gate. Faker, Faker, play Maker. Faker has never lost with LeBlanc on the competitive stage. 12 and 0. 50, Baron going very low at 1500. It is going to go over to clear. Yeah, the Faker. They take down Faker. SK Telecom T1 are wiped. The Nexus turrets are going down. LPL's Edward Gaming are the 2015 mid season invitational champions. Let's watch this one again. Let's see how Faker does. Wait for the animation. Game. Comes down. Flash. Wow. Beautiful. Thanks, Faker does. And then there's poor Nar top lane right now. Mid lane turret also goes down. The flash engage from Faker. Yeah, there's the room prison in there. All of the spells, all of the time. Faker, the 1v1 against Paul. Everyone had to do the right thing to avoid dying there, which is a little bit dangerous. Flashes were blown in the mid lane as well. It looks uh -oh. like Faker and Kuro went hard, so there's no flash for this. Hojin in a real bad situation with the last bit of mana. Faker takes him down 2v1. And he's sitting in base for a long time. Like he's waiting for TP somewhere. He's going to right now. Just going into the river brush, but it's oh going to be Kuro getting dropped immediately. How did he even think he could take that fight? Saris Embrace wasn't even used by Faker, and they're ready to keep going for the fight. Gorilla chomps up Smev as his teleport comes in. Bray gets caught way off on the wing here. Ku was not ready to take any sort of fight. Last stand, two inhibitors down. Here SKT comes. On the hunt, goes in. That's going to be Hojin in a real sticky situation. He goes down a full three-man NAR ultimate. That's going to be Smev down now. Eyes onto the AD carry, but the support hits. It's going to be Kuro out safely. Bray, however, has to run away from his base. SK Telecom looking to take down the final Nexus turrets. It does not look good for Kuro and his team. Ku Tigers are falling. SKT will be your first ever two-time world champions! And it's just easy for them to back off, especially when they're 7 Oh, Faker's oh going in, big flashes in, knocks back two people with the Embers of Eye. They're going to fight Whoa. BDD, and Utara is going to follow Sue and Faker with the big play. Now it goes the Rift Herald given over to Blank. Still a sizable lead here, 3,000 up, fighting for the blue buff, and a Huge big knockback play. on the two. That's bad for Emelec, she pops flames with Spite, Mata's gonna come into this one as well, but Faker has so much time to deal the damage. A great tackle from Duke means a kill on the RNG jungler. Looper, Looper now running, slowed down by Wolf. The kill goes over to Blank, two for zero with the blue steal. And Faker's playing like a man possessed right now. These Azir initiations are incredible. But it's Bang that's in trouble. Here comes Huhi, looking for the stun. Will find it onto Blank, but forced to back away. Duke's on the front line, look at the slide. Slide, glide, divide. Fake has split the fight, but nobody's gone down. x was golden from the hourglass. Blank jumps forward. Two kills for SKT. A full retreat. Three as Hoey is trying to recall. As SKT have got four members down, they turn their attention to the Nexus. And SK Telecom continue to rule the world. And they are your mid-season invitational champions. Yep, no, Faker up on the top side. Kukum comes out here from score of the route as well from the Jin. It looks like he might go down. Nice Emperor's Divide to stop the jump in from Hachani. Faker trying to find the kill. The Zonians comes out and now Duke has arrived. Trying to lock down Arrow. Gets him with an Ever move. And Faker is going to stay alive. The Tether coming down on to Hachani as well. He goes in for the headbutt but cannot find the damage. And it looks like he's going to fall as well. If Poppy were to get 20 or 30 CS up on Trundle, by the time the late game hits, Trundle will have that push. Lane. But that's why Smep's roaming in. Got this coming in. The flash to push him back, but it's not going to be 
Cocoon, and the Shockwave buys all the time Faker needs. 1v3, easy escape. Two summoners down, but he's okay. Only thing that matters right now is this Elder Dragon. SKD looking to rush it down using the zone from Wolf. Look for him. It has that stolen so many objectives this world. They're trying to do not. Repel gets away from the stun. He goes in for it, and it's secured by Bangy. That is a big deal. SKT, Shockwave, a shot down. They've got three already. They're looking to kill absolutely everybody. Rocks Tigers getting wiped off the face of the map. Smith, the only one alive. Properly, but now they play towards top side. They do see Faker, and the cocoon's not gonna land though, so can they get anything else? The flash chase, it's Smep onto his face, looking for a little bit more, and he's not oh. gonna go down. Faker with just the ghost gets away with it. Team Ford controlling the dragon area, and they need to actually go and take some pressure back, which is they're going for now. Got Faker way for the two, and that's just easy, and Faker wow. gets done as Samsung Galaxy are being dove under their tower. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. The SKT reign continues. They win their third world championship. Indeed, Gangplank Ultimate. Oh, he dodged again. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's got to get over the wall here, though. So Edge is going to get the poison and the movement speed boost, but here comes Blank from the top. I think Edge is just dead either way, and it's going to go over to Faker. He's been out of position because it's oh, very hard boy. to have position. We hear an ultimate pop, and we see a turn. Yeah, dredge line coming through. Big, 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 big out. shockwave comes through. Faker Holy. just absolutely devastates the ranks of KT Rolster. A triple kill for him. KT still desperately holding on. Blank is up in 10 seconds. Can they buy enough time? Wolf has the devour. Spits out. Bang's dead. That's going to be bang. Going down. Finger going back in. Trying to get on top of score. He pops the GA, but can he do enough? It looks like no. he will not be able to. Death firing away, but can't get it. Scores here. Can he finish it off? The answer is going to be no. That's an ace coming through from SK Telecom. It looks so good. So the laners are coming towards the mid lane. There's the blast! Follow Wolf with a giant knock. It's gonna find three with the ultimate. Equads are on top and Perks is down. One for zero with no shock. We have a trade only on a support and Sven. Not gonna make it much longer as well. The chase is in. Look at the beautiful plays out of Faker. Crushing the back line by himself. Applause all around. SKT to cement themselves the championship. G2's redemption is nice, but SKT going through the crucible of the mid-season Invitational to lock it down as the best team in the world, and SKT are once again the champions! And let's remember, SK Telecom has just completed the most dominant two-year run in the history of League of Legends as an esport. An advantage on you, you need to wait for it much more gold for you to be able to take on her or take her on at 1v1. Watch out for this though, the culling is coming out, crowd getting super low, the last bullet is gonna take him down, first blood, a solo kill to Faker on the Lucian. Looks like crown is gonna be that one, and here we go again, the 1v1 begins and the culling comes out, and the flash is in, but it's not enough, Faker with another solo kill onto crown. So they have a little bit more, but mid lane's gonna have some action. Moving in, flash forward. Faker does what he can with the petrifying gaze, but it might not be enough. Heal coming through. Faker oh. make his way out. Out comes Good the side. The flashback. Contract now in trouble. Faker pushing for a little bit more. Is he gonna get the first blood here? That's it from Faker. They're saving the break for now. They got two already. Bang is hiding. He's coming. Bang looking to come in. Here comes your initiation. The right through. Oh my god. Faker Shockwave will find them all. And SKT with a hell of a response. Will take down four. The double team. Yeah, just Tudio, a single. Yeah, Tudio already never Faker. Oh. Going to the flash ball. The stun's gonna land with a half the damage. One pick up already. The re-engager Faker. It's only a knock if he's still one versus three. The chase forward. Big wants everything. MLXG rather. No, it's gonna be him traded down to the turret. Faker pulling him into the damage out. But who's he winning the wings though? Galaxy push mid first. You can see the flash hold left. They've caught Faker. They've got the CC. The mid laner is down. The unkillable Demon King has done it. There are no turrets. It is five versus three. Hooney, do you have what it takes to win the game? Big certainly does not. Ruler on the Nexus. The upset is complete as the kills come through. The SKT dynasty is over. All hail the new kings. Samsung Galaxy. Your 2017 World Champions!
Every single player talked about revenge against SKT. They got it. Faker is destroyed. And now it's... Relief from the side of Samsung. The splash, but still makes it work. Faker's diving under the turret against Crown the Perfect. Dots there on the ultimate, gets the solo kill underneath the turret. Spot for that. Song one now coming up the wall, gets the slow up there on the flank. Now looking for Faker. Realm Warp coming through, but the Emperor's Divide pushes him away. Now Faker trying to duke it out here Faker. with Lava. Looks like he might be able to win this one. Oh, the side, he hits it. Teddy is electing into the Ice Horn Gauntlet. But the only real threat of... Look at Faker, he's oh, trying to man. go 1v2 and bait that one out, but the flash knockup comes in, and Clint is late, but it doesn't matter, he cataclysms the clone, and Faker gets away. Dread super low now, Faker trying to come back, the Q is gonna miss, and Teddy coming in, the chains are gonna land, and Faker dodges it again, and you can't lock him down at all, Faker. Faker has been able to join the fray. Five members of G2 trying to push forward, but the minion wave is getting obliterated. Oh! Massive manages to steal the knob. Faker turns around. He hijacks G2's chances. Listen to that crowd as SKT turn it around. SKT just going to come on in here and say this is now our map. Faker just pushing him away. Oh, the perfect dodge with the Shuriken. Faker really just trying to style on him and that he will the one-on-one -on -one is he makes it look so easy the flash was invested and he'll now need to teleport to get back forward fake up finds no. three with the pop blossom out of absolutely nowhere final chapter is in though top able to answer one back as this is not over yet logan over the wall but into the open arms of the itsy bitsy spider who's not so itsy bitsy right now there on the rocky he's by himself separated can't get the slow level 16 can be ready oh. to go in jackie Lump goes in with the killer instinct himself finds it and that's the one for one trade now for ID. The flank from Faker is inside. The Azir gets the free hit. And IG are separated. Torn. Faker can't get through, but Blister is the Jackula. chain. Over the wall. It's Ducky 2. Korea builds it. And Faker builds the whole damn one. Pick up that extra kill on the back side. And now we're turning it around. But Faker team is getting too much damage. Look at Dove at full health trying to zone them all away. Trying to pick up those last kills is Teddy. Will get the one. Might be in the trade for effort. Oh, and, oh it's so close. And Dove is going in there, but he can't do it alone. And Joker's not going to have enough. Faker! Faker! He's going to be able to pick up the two from the backside. Do they kill Faker, yes or no, Vedius? No. Okay, let's see what he does. Three on one, four on one, as Cody's son comes down. The quickness is used already. Faker's got flash available. He dashes. He doesn't even use the flash. And Vedius, you are a god, you call it. <laughs> Faker escapes. Twisted Fate is on his way. We'll have the ultimate. Pops it. Here we go. For the shield. Faulty is out. He's stolen. He's stolen by SKT, but now where is the fight going to go? Efforts there on the front line. Cars are able to find the kick on the con into the rest of RNG. Faker's going to be in there on the backside as well. Uzi finding the damage in on the con. RNG is still going to be kept alive, but the health bars are critically low. Faker's after Uzi, but he won't be able to find him just yet. Faker's stumbling away, but he's the only man left standing. Carson and Longshing are after him. Sonic Wave will not find the mark, but the pursuit oh. continues. Carson is stopped in his tracks, but Longshing oh. continues the chase. The Claw will not find the mark, and oh. Faker hands him a car <laughs> and walks away. Re yeah. Recalls take so long. He even gets to see the recalls. SKT, if they had more pokes, they'd actually be able to stop more from going back. That's the him, and he's out of there. Another Wait, no, TP they're going for more. Oh, they're all going. It's a triple teleport up into the top side oh, for SKT. They want to win. Uzi's going legendary. He's able to find the kill onto the Gragas. SKT are now on the Nexus turret. Well, they got the SKT. Blitz. They play the map right, and oh, they oh, find oh. the Nexus. <laughs> They've done it. They're gonna win. G2 caught. Can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir. They can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. FPX, get ready. G2 is heading to Paris.
onto Keen. Jelly with the door. He's going to do some work, but so does Faker. Eliminating three people in quick succession. Make that four as the quadra kill comes down from the god of the mid lane. Teleport's coming in to oh try to do god. something. This could but be this should be the Baron. What? Faker's going to dive on in. It's oh my oh. god! Faker steals the Baron. He's turned it immediately. Takes down the jungler as well. Carrier, no options. This is an uber throw out of DRX, but a fantastic capitalization by T1. Yeah, Showmaker, can he get in there? Almost has the Ornhorn once again as Kaz goes golden, flashes, body slams, gets out, the disengage with the barrel, and he's going to survive. Even sidesteps Roach's Blast Plant, which oh. could have trolled him. Oh. But now Baker gets into the back line and eliminates the set. This team fight has gone for so damn long, but it's T1 that draw first blood after what feels like four minutes. Teddy gets they can't all kill him. They can't, they don't have the T1 damage available. What? A big knock, the big wall of Roach is alive for way too Wait. long. But now, oh. can he actually find the team fight in the end? Can it be nuclear that gets in the answers? No, it's Showmaker gonna die to the hands of Teddy. A couple more auto attacks is going to do it. The Severum is what's up, doesn't quite get the damage there, but eventually chases it down. We've now got an Elder Drake on the map that Dumb one have led T1 to on a silver platter. The barrel is missed time, but who cares? Cuz I think they're still going to have enough to make this one work. As pop goes the Rakan and Canyon, the next step in that one-two punch. Let's see whether he actually yeah, he the the that that was was blind. That sidestep was basically blind. Yeah, I mean, he knew that silence was there, so yeah, right. Right. predicted. Still, great yeah. prediction. But I'm still, right now. All right, uh, Fly gonna miss his ultimate as Fake had taken some Skittles. Now wanting to take the fight to Spirit. Great knock off though. Is the Tempered Fake going to be avoided? Oh! Has the Ace in the hole that came through Ooh! as well. Did a fair bit of damage there to Faker, who's gonna turn it around. The Carpus is already dead, but he still has some Skittles Ooh! in him. Can Faker dodge it? He's standing in the Defile. It's not exactly what you want, but he is going to survive in the end. They're, they're down in gold, but because of the way the comps work, that Infernal Dragon, Giving over so much in terms of stats. I think Baker's dead, actually. Oh, he's gonna manage to yeah, dodge that. He's, he, dodge. he's still dead. Yeah, he's still dead. Yeah, he's still dead. Maybe he can go. Oh, ah, wait, hold on. That's cool. Never mind. Okay, he's gonna get turned around. Now, Effort is angry after what happened the last two couple of kills. Here comes Kana. That teleport out of Genji is so late. I don't think he's gonna get there on time. He gets there right after life goes down. BDD trying to go 1v3. He is incredibly strong right now. He's going to get that nuke ascent. Oh! Arrow, though, from Gumi. Faker! Take BDD out of the fight, and Faker is getting in there. He's trying oh! that damage, and he will be able to take him down. That is an ace! Humpty is here, and they didn't know about it, but I don't know if this matters. Okay, the teleport is coming through. Let's see how T1 gets out of this one. All right, well, Faker, he's the veteran. He's the big brother. He's going to sacrifice his life to get his teammates out of there, and he's not even going to die because we have action on the bottom side. And now is where the real pain will begin. We've got Teleport coming in, and Zeus is about to box some heads. Faker now, three-man Haymaker, just able to get on in there and break some faces. And all five members of DRX just grouped up onto this. The sleep will come in, and they could look for this fight as Becca gets a huge knockup in the front line, and Karia already dies. Although the damage does come out here, but take a look at Teddy, he's so low, and he's just going to be burst down by the Lilia. Do they have the damage though? Cuz is actually in that back line, and Faker stays alive for the entire time. All the other carries on the side of DRX do go down. Really nice stopwatch though from Josic staying alive. This is such a close fight, and Faker's going to take it down in the end with a double kill. As the ward does come in, he has jumped into the pit actually, has Karia. As now he will go in, they're looking to get it. That is a massive ultimate that comes out from Faker and separates the entire team of DRX, but you still have both of the carries from DRX alive here on the right side. Begins the machine gun rise plates. Ghost arrow. Okay, trying to get on in there, but here comes Faker, and look at that first divide. He gets three, and this is the team fight T1 we're looking for. This is what we have been talking about, as the damage is not enough to take out Showmaker. Somehow, he gets out of there, as the Gwen is going insane. I'm not sure, Domino, you want to take this fight. Kana is ready and willing. He doesn't care that he's 0-4. He's a Gwen, and he comes in there and does insane damage. It's usually through strong, aggressive, surprising early game. That's it. That's where T1's strongest. 
So right now, things are looking very difficult. Abby gonna go for the dunk back, gonna pull in with the Haymaker as well. Faker looking a little bit low, but Abby now gonna be in trouble. Faker not afraid whatsoever, Ooh. pushes him back, goes golden. He's playing for style points at this point. Yeah, Faker just TP stop. Ari doesn't have it, he had to TP back to Lakes. He keeps getting ganked! Oh! 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 <laughs> Until about 25 is when they theoretically should have been strong. That time has gone. T1 in so much control. As Hanwha trying to do the very best to defend their base, but two inhibitors go down. Three-man shockwave just found out of nowhere from Faker. As Willa, the only way that he can go is forward. Here's Zin Zhao. As the exhaust does come through, King taking so much damage, the rest of his teammates are there. Stop him from dying to the ace in the hole as the exhaust comes through onto Zayas, but there is nothing that Fake can do about it. He tries to flash, it does not work, and these health bars are getting absolutely destroyed. Faker looking for the triple kill as Keen's in trouble, and he'll get it. Can it be the Penta for Faker to start off? Ona says absolutely not. You'll have to settle for a Quadra, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defecting, I'm defecting. <laughs> I want to go back, I want to go back. Like, it's just so beautifully set up here as once again, we're going to see Cuz looking for top side pick. Yeah, him in life, I don't think is going to be enough damage here as Cuz should be able to get an Impale as he's looking to try and bring Faker back to Vikla. Owner's going to turn up as Faker decides that he wants to turn this fight around. Faker is likely to fall down here, but no, actually creates enough distance. The rest of P1 turn up to save their mid laner as Cuz is now limping away again. Gumiushi deals with that with a ricochet. In goes Vikla. Faker just completely denies the Azir play, and now it's the big old Nar in the front line to clean up shop. Extendo Beam flying forward, but it's once again just not going to be enough damage, and Faker just baits all of KT. A lot of standing gold, I would say, for G2 to grab. The question is, can they grab it? As an ultimate comes in from Yankos. Yeah, that is a Cataclysm come down. Great handshake does come through there as Caps does try to get out the taunt, but he's not going to be able to find it. The Gale Force is going to be able to keep Gumiushi alive. Caps flashes oh. away, but Faker just assassinates Blacken in the back line. Targum is trying to get out of there now as well as the resets will come in. Finding themselves Whoa. as the victor once again. Caps looking for a kill onto Faker. Oh, bubble, is bubble is going to go down as let's see whether Faker finds the right spot. He doesn't. He's going to flash oh, into the oh, tree. That, that is sick. That is sick. Is sick. No. No. Flashes over the wall. <sighs> oh my god. That was... He just broke his ankles! Yeah! Oh and my now Caps, god! He's stolen the flash, so he has it at the ready. Is now Faker. He can execute. This and is... there is no way that it can be answered. That was so many... This is the worst Flashed away by Yumi Yushi. Faker looking to get into the back of the pit. Frozen Tomb available for him. RNG calling T1's part. And Faker oh! finds them all! Yumi Yushi, Kamiya, and Faker will not go quietly into the night! Form is temporary! Faker is forever! Uh, which I think is so interesting to watch. Looking for Faker now. Trying to get on the tower. Needs to dodge away from the Everfrost. The charm, the root. He dodges perfectly! Oh, Faker! <laughs> You beautiful man! I mean, this is the five man. He has control ward, he's on the other side, so there's just no way they could see him. They walked right into it. This is the second flash taunt play in this best of three from Faker that's game defining. As there's the Whirling Death, does a whole lot of work here as Ruler's gonna have to flash away. Zay is now taking a bunch Faker. of damage. Omer getting. Oh my god, Faker! He just gets in the back line and smites it away. Jovi now trying to punish him, but. I don't think it's going to be enough as J T1 picking up the Baron is huge in this moment. Gumiushi now wanting to flash on over and look for Chovy, who once again goes golden. Cut the tape! All right. Oh, wait, here we go. The 1v1. Honorable 1v1. Oh. Jensen up currently 2-0. Faker, can he bring it back? Jensen, can he take Can he take the best of five against Faker in the 1v1? Oh, he goes! That's all that matters! Can he get it? Shuriken flip! Golden! Can he take the best of five? Oh, no! Faker coming back! Faker with the stopwatch gets the last lap! T1 with 40 seconds till the straight comes up. About the same time they find the rest. 36 not gonna take his fight against Faker. Will it be enough? Does he win round two? He's ignited, he's ever frosted! Oh. And Faker with five held left with the one-on-one! -on -one. More enemies coming after him. Though he's going for the sneaky recall. Out of vision. They know he's on the left hand side. Missing. Will not spot him going to the brush. They see. They, oh, you can the see ball. it. You it's can see it.
2v2. They will secure under the tower, and all of a sudden, oh, 369 in the mid lane. Gonna find the stun, a whole lot of damage, a shuffle, buys a second, the shield survives a bit longer, but 369 still drops, and Viego is ready to claim a couple of corpses. It's not gonna come through for you, Gal. Ignite will not kill Sayers. Thanks to Owner, he plays the mid laner better than you, Gal does. Bolts in for a bit more, forcing out the flash. But the re-engage from Belvet is almost enough, but it is not! Faker in the mid lane, the unkillable Demon King rebuilds his throne with the skulls of his enemies! A five for one, and a dragon out! Owner throws out the Q, but he's not gonna find it. Zaka jumps in, Owner's ready to retreat back to his own teammate. Say who's contesting 1v2. Owner and Faker ready to join in, but Barrel's made his way into the fight. Owner and jumps in. It's secured by DRX. Now the fight breaks out. Pio's oh. coming right back in. T1 with a lot of moves. Zeka tries to get the kill, but he won't be able to secure it. T1 so precise, just dominating this game. Zeus, magnificent sleight of hand on the bottom side, but they're not done yet. King and looking for the snipe onto Faker. He just walks out of the Inferno, chains and goes for it. Oh, but Faker goes back in. Faker gets Barrel, and T1's ready for more. Pioshik's on the run, but the ruined King will barely survive. And they teleport in from Zeka. TRX circled T1 like sharks, herding them in. T1 didn't find a response. Kuma, can he steal it? Kuma will have to fly right over. Down to a smite fight. King of the Loop is off. Beryl has the ultimate back up. No carries on the flashes. Look at the trap line. Look at the Caitlyn. He's trying to send him away. Owner going Owner. in. Owner they is down. It. The Drake secured. T1 T1 going to the base. They're going to the next test. Can they do it in time? King comes back. Elder Drake of the ready. But what can he do? Q3. No damage just yet. Elder Drake. The execute. Sayus is down. DRX, hold on! Kumayushi is dead! They have been doubted! They have been discounted! They have been dismissed! But DRX are your 2022 World Champion! Yeah, Rascal is also behind 50 CS now as he was up a kill as Fate comes in with a NAR ultimate. Um, does go golden in the end with his newly built Zonius. Flash does come through as Empress Divide over the wall inside the enemy bases. Faker just mops the floor with him. I think Faker's got something to do later tonight because he wants this game over and I think he's going to get his wish. He wants to pop that Manchis veil. It's unsuccessful. Okay, over the wall they go. The charm is insane! The Unbelievable! And down goes Doran again! This guy just cannot survive! All right, well, that is a heroic charge. Faker in a bit of trouble here, but does manage to mitigate some of that CC. Goes all out onto Peanut. Now just trying to fight the Poppy. Chovy, though, is going to make his way through. Faker's still alive for the moment. Flash! Oh! Oh! Survive! That was sick from Faker! Was taken out in the fight, so can't just solo push those towers. Faker now immediately fishing for the Jared engager. Now get again! They find him, he goes golden. It's a brief moment that he buys for himself and his team's hope, but the feathers come back, and Faker will find Elk. Yagao in the midst of the waiting arms of Team One. Faker is resting because he has some pain in his arm, so he's okay, but they don't want to further complicate his medical condition. A massive victory against T1. T1's not doing so well. Faker did get injured, and they are on a four loss streak at the moment. KT! It's like they just decided that that was enough of that, and they will just take down the Nexus here in game two. T1 having one of their worst streaks, and it might continue if they lose tonight, and that is the expectation, unfortunately. They watch a series against T1 and keep their hopes of playoffs alive. How is the form going to be? And a lot of people have talked about the return of Faker, but I don't think that's going to be like an instant, oh, okay, we got Faker, we're, we're yeah. amazing again. <laughs>
Faker is back. He is playing for T1 after 31 days of being out and injured. Careful with his positioning also as Deep Plus, they have a feeling that Carrier is lurking over the wall. The control are gonna spot him out as now Zayas wanting to get back into the fight once again. DK, they back away. Moonlight Vigil clips Faker right on the edge and they grab the seat. Oh, can you not able to get an owner? Walks down the Baron, but can Deep Plus find the fight? The Infalios already taken out and T1! Oh, it's the lethality on this Aatrox, and he decided he's not going to get one shot. He is one-shotting them. Team, if they're grouping, that's all you can do in these situations sometimes. He is going to pick it up. Yeah, Equalizer comes down just to try and guarantee this turret. There's a flash, three-man pop blossom. Empress Divide comes in, but it does absolutely nothing. It's a double for Goomer as well. Teleports come in from Keen, but this Drake is going down extraordinarily quickly. Paranoia comes through. That is going to be Chemtech Soul. As Cuz, not really gonna find anything. Gumayushi is just going nuts. And there's the quickness, but a bomb and pop blossom from Faker. And Cuz is gonna go down still. Faker may follow, and Keen is kind of massive. He slices his way. No more follow up here just yet. Nice root coming out from Gumayushi. Now they're gonna go in. There's the Wombo combo. T1 ain't gonna kill anybody just yet. Yagao barely gets away. Owner's ready to swoop in for the Cataclysm. And on gets turned off. Gumayushi flips the switch. And now Shun tries to fire back. Massive double kill. Three members in the area ready to set up. Scout on the flank, however. Gonna look for the shove. Is gonna manage to catch only Zeus in the meantime. Baker still standing strong. Shockwave getting good damage down. T1 quick to force the fight. Sick and not powerful enough. And he is just having the down low connected down to the walls. They use firing up with so much damage down. Go Zika. The pushback is massive. Gala knocked out at T1 eyes on the prize. Navi ready with the ultimate. Zayo's strong. Getting low, but opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zay is still stepping forward with the Infernal Chain, looking for the lockup. Tempered Fate now coming in, isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line, and Owner immediately with the follow-up engage. Zay is still standing. Now finally the Vi is going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight, oh, fancy oh, feet to the back of the fight. Zay is ticking, burning with the shutdown. It's Knight hits nine, but now they are just fish caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in and dominating the Herald fight. Also get oh, the no. never mind. Oh, he no. gets a freebie back. Staying a bit too long. Stun now coming through. 369. Careful not to overheat too quickly. Continuing to walk forward, making sure now he has the flames to try to bring it back. Shockwave there. Carry not quite able to connect. Maybe they have the damage. Faker's gonna be in trouble missing now. Pushing him back. Trying to sacrifice. Oh. 369 burns down to the ignite of Carrier. Missing killed as well. The equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get out, but order will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter! Because T1 are there in time! Trying to fire back. Gumiyushi out of ammo. Desperately trying to reload. Here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight to flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down. Playing on the edge. Missing. Has he stamped? Faker coming. Far. Faker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight. No ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in. Trying oh. to turn it back. Guma says not today. Tempered Fate onto Kanavi is big. The lineup is there. Zayo's immediately going to look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Big damage coming in for the Dark and Blade. Missing on the backside, trying to buy some space with a shockwave. It's clean. And in comes the curtain call. And it's Zayo's wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight. T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. Wall coming out, isolating owner. Might go for the 50-50, but it's absolutely psycho. Flashes over the arrow. Faker oh. goes in. It's incredibly clean. JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler on touch on the backside. Dragon still standing. But owner will take that away too. My God, what an engage from T1. Very tough not to have the cleanse. Zayus on the flank. Zayus on the side. TP coming in. Faker looking to make the flank oh. against Ruler. Owner goes in. And again, the combos are clean. Zoning them away, 2.5k is getting lower and lower. They will burn it down, they get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through. Owner caught up, Flag and Drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side. Owner still standing with Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in, but goes golden. Carrier buys him one face for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars. Ruler incredibly low, but 
but maybe, There's just maybe gone. he can turn it back, but Goomba's still standing tall. Oh, he can't walk into range. T1 starting to feel like an inevitability. JDG's hope dwindling and taking down BLG. Oh, as they move to finals! And now Baker is going to dash in, finds the charm under the Tom catch. Baker has to get out of there though, can't be a snare for the hostile takeover. Gets so much work done, the devour's in, but the kill's there for Ona. Shahu now going down low, it's Baker, dashes forward once again. But it looks like they'll have to settle for one and a herald. But it looks like Weibo isn't even going to give them the opportunity. It's Ona! Oh, oh, there's the kick flash, Shahu's going to be pushed into Baker. The flash forward, but the charm is going to miss. What? The Pierce doesn't land it, Shahu just walks it off. No worries there at all as Crisp is under the turret. They throw down Harold, but Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there, and the Shy is given up on. They become very difficult to actually wave clear out. It allows you to oh, harass Guma. your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit of run. trouble here as Crisp looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is a twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Guma trying to hop away. The Fates call the knockups. And meanwhile, Weiwei is going down. Baker collects it before falling down. Crisp has to go, though, because he's so incredibly low. And Zayas is tearing them to shreds. Game one of the finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward. Ona still has that GA. Oh. Remember, Chris going down so incredibly low. Zayas just executes the Chai up to the side. And there is another one. This guy's Yone is just absurd. And the inhibitor's going to go down. T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one skirmish they're looking for. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light's going to be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Baker dives in though as well. He's going to collect the first with the help of Ona. The Shy goes down. The rest of Weibo will scatter, but they do get the objective and only lose one for now. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Baker looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find it. The hostile takeover is massive, and they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back end. It does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map, and Kumiuchi is going to cash in once again. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in. The turret goes down. The Needlework just rips the center to shreds. And Zayas just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death, it's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor, it might just be the game right here. Extraordinary as Zayas helps clear up this second Nexus turret, and T1 at match point already. Guma and Carrier are so hard to attack in a lot of these situations. Oh, Q going to connect there. Nice little knockup as Carrier tries to find it. There's the quickness on Tattoo. The kick gets the knockup onto Xiaohu. The Empress of Ide only gets Ona, but that will get him out. But Weiwei's not going to be so lucky. The Shy got in here, and now he might be in trouble. He breaks the chains, but is he still going to be able to get out? Kumiyushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side. Now is the right call. Seiyas grabs the double kill. It's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Carrier is on that sideline. They know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in. He finds himself the charm on the four is there the ultimate from the Shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Baker has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage, and Faker is in the shroud. He's toying with him. It's a double kill. What? what? Order. And back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker eventually goes down, but it's four for him and Carrier. It's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over. Zayas, he likes this one though. One versus three. He's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide, it comes in, but he's still alive. What is going on? Baker tidies up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Weiwei trying to get something done, but it does not 
matter, T1 are too strong. Four times T1 has lost in a game five. Four times they've been knocked out, and four times they have got back up for this moment. It was seven years since their last, a decade since their first ESKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions. It took them two years to win a title again. T1 finally hoisting it. And they've waited for it. Last year, the story wasn't about them. But this year it is. As well, he's done it three times. This is the first time. And he'll hoist it for the fourth.